Hey, and welcome to Beyond Oasis. I am your host, Zane, and with me is... Francis York Morgan. Just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> anyway, we start off with Ali uh, being a treasure hunter. He's more of a treasure hunter than he is a prince. And he equips himself with the power glove. It's so bad. Is Ali supposed to be Arabian? Yeah, I'm, this is and he's more blonde. or less. Yeah, because you know he's a white blonde guy, and he's Arabian. Miscasting yeah. much? I don't know. Either way, we're told that since we have equipped the gold armlet, we are now the saviors of the world. Oh. And Ali's like a thief, right? So, um, why does he care? What's his no, motivation? No, he's actually all a prince. Oh, 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 he's he, a prince. He, is, he is not like the prince of thieves. He is actually the prince of Oasis. Oh, uh, okay. I, I just get that confused because of Aladdin and all that. Yeah. They kind of do that a lot with, uh, these kind of games. Yeah. Uh... You can tell he's evil because he's wearing a skull on his uh, cape. Oh, always, always. And that he's bald, too. Bald yeah. guys are always evil. Yeah, that's true. I, I feel that I'm really... I'm sorry, but, like, Maybe the silver he's... armlet sounds like it has way better power than... Oh, you can go and, like, summon... Also, it's better water. designed. I mean, gold is just gaudy. Isn't it? Yeah. I want to. I want to say I apologize for the audio quality of the video, uh, but that's how the game sounds. It has. Yeah, it does. Graphic. I have to play this game. Only up to the end of the first video, though. Eh, it's okay. But if you notice, Ali is uh, apparently segmented. Yeah. At least in that. Uh, Little, uh, would you call it an FMV? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think you just call it a cutscene. Fair enough. And we start off with our first encounter, which is not very. I remember dying to that big giant ogre. Well, yeah, because they have. <laughs> their hitbox is a lot smaller than it looks, as you can see. I just stabbed his, uh,. Elbow, but he's like, yeah, whatever. One of the things with this game that you gotta get used to, from what I remember, was that, like, some of the hitboxes are a bit odd, and you have to, like, learn to crouch and all that, and actually dodge oh, things. Yeah. It's not no, like no, we're Zelda. We're gonna find out how bad uh, the hitboxes are with uh, the boss really soon. I remember. You can't. But we're leaving that for the actual boss fight. Okay, fine. We'll leave that for the actual boss fight. I'll complain about it then. Good man. You know, I want, I want to give people the illusion that I'm playing this right now. Which kind of already... It's was, already uh, been lost. Yeah. It, this it, is it, a train yeah. wreck, okay? You know. I refuse for this to be a train wreck. And, oh my god, map. I Fish! Can... Orange. That's, that's what happens when you accidentally, uh... Bat finger the wrong button. Oh, I see. Well, we came down here first just because you can get some free weapons. Are you gonna equip any of those weapons? Later on, they have durability, so it's. Oh, that's to, just uh, like deadly premonition. No, I won't go there. You already did. It's too late. But anyway, we go and visit our father, and I think that's our sister. I'm pretty sure that's our sister. Oh, I thought you were, you know, that was his mother or something. It's kind of been a while since I played it, but I'm pretty sure it's your sister. Yeah, she she's a bit read... small. She, she, go, she asks you to go read some books in the back, but they're just quote-unquote secret techniques, which one of them was the uh, Crescent Strike, 
or the 360 strike, or however you want to call it. You should have shown him off. I thought this was an informative LP. It is, but 90% of the moves are completely useless. They're, they're there for looks, and that's about it. Hmm. No wonder I got my ass kicked so much. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, they're powerful, don't get me wrong, but you're just better off beating people without uh, use of the moves. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, like, this game's bad or anything. Like, I was actually enjoying playing it, but then my 360, like, rrod would no less than, like, a few days later. Oh, you, you got this on the Genesis collection or yeah. whatever? I was also playing yeah, Shining Force 2 as well. <laughs> it's a good game. A, yeah, yeah, I, I'm really upset that there's only two, uh... Two games in the series. I really wanted more. I always, I mean, despite the hitbox issue, this is a really great game. It's not that big of an issue. You just got to get used to them. Mm-hmm. And actually, uh, the hitboxes are way more forgiving than one may think because you can cheese the fuck out of it. Oh, by the way, this is the first puzzle to uh, the very first dungeon. Oh, wasn't it hard? Yeah, that looked um, that looked brutal. And he just like they didn't even do any damage to you, really. I mean, no, they they don't. But this is why it's actually going to be a low level run. I'm not going to pick up any of the uh, level up parts. Um, yeah, this is an action RPG, but the only way to actually level up is to pick up parts. It's kind of funny. Well, you know, parts. that prevents you from like cheesing the game accidentally. I kind of hate. Oh no, that. no, there's there's a lot of ways to cheese the game. Fish, uh, and yep. meat. And why didn't you jump across there? I wanted to see what was over there. You can't get over there until you get another elemental. Oh. I thought you could jump across him. Maybe further see, and the I sword fall. that you get from Palace only has 10 durability, while the sword that you get here in the dungeon has 20. Hmm. Yeah, they, they kind of make it so you don't just go in and out of the, uh, like, the armory, I guess. Yeah. And, you know, get equipped with some, some good swords. Oh, you just got your ass kicked by that water. I hate the water so much. It doesn't really I remember have getting a, stuck uh, on that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's because it doesn't have a sound or any indication that it's really coming. Yeah. It's and actually a pretty cool boss. Yeah, the boss designs are always great, but it's, it's the perspective in the hitbox that really fuck you up. I think you, you can, gotta uh, pay attention to the shadows with this fight. That's what I remember I did. You just attack the shadows rather than the actual, uh, where the boss is. Yeah, but you'd think that would work. At least with the bow, or the crossbow, but not so much. I remember the bow being useless and, uh, yeah, seems to be useless. <laughs> It, it is completely and utterly useless until you get the Armageddon bow, and or the atomic bow. I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds. Yeah, see, uh, I I I can't go any further down. He just continues to hit me. That's why you should have gone up, lured him up there, so you could have uh. Thanks for spoiling it. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, yes. So basically, what you want to do is lure the boss up. Uh, those can be attacked, those little uh, bubbles, but see, you can kind of exploit the hitbox by staying just below his his actual hitbox and jump and attack instead of uh, being almost right on him. Yeah. Again, you know, like you said, you have to kind of get used to the hitboxes because they're really awkward. Yeah, they are, but, you know, once you get used to them, they're not that bad. Yeah, but... I remember I actually took, like, three or four attempts on that boss before I finally beat him. He's not easy. Yeah. The first time No, no, none of, none of these bosses are really easy, especially, uh... I'll spoil it, the, uh, Shadow... Uh, the Shadow... Guardian. He's... He's the most ridiculously hard, uh, boss I've fought in the game. Mainly because you, you stand on one platform, and... Hmm. You can get knocked off 
quite easily. I couldn't figure out how to resummon the fairy. You shoot you shoot the uh eyeball into water. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dido I'll only pretty much use her for healing because that's all she's really good for. Well healing's always useful. Yeah, I mean she's not that useful right now, but I will be collecting the uh, spirit gems to level them up. I won't be leveling up personally, but the spirits will. Hmm. Yeah, and it, it's kind of a caveat, but hey, the spirits would be completely and utterly useless otherwise. They don't last long enough outside. I see. But that being said, we are going to go and sign off, and our next mission will be a Frit. Ifrit. Peace out.